All right, guys, we got a 2011 BMW 535i. I'm gonna show you guys how to replace the rear brake pads with the electronic parking brake. So the first step that I did is um, I removed the uh, brake sensor, which is this one right here. This one already came out. Um, basically it just pops out right here and it clips in right here and then you got this little box right here that you open and you have a tab that you pull out and then you just remove the old brake sensor second step we're gonna do is you got two 13 millimeter bolts up here and we're gonna loosen up Actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and remove the... So your ele electronic parking brake system is back here. So we're just gonna pry it out. From here. And then we're gonna remove that, like that. Okay, this is the harness for the electronic parking brake. Then we can remove the 13 millimeter bolts. This one actually requires an open end wrench. Give me one second. All right, got a 13 millimeter wrench. Go ahead and loosen that up let's get the bottom one first now if you're turning it in the bottom one the nut turns with it you need to have something hold that so it doesn't turn with it gonna try to grab it with this okay Bottom one's loose. I'm gonna do the top one. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm doing. and bottom 13 millimeter bolts out I'm gonna go ahead and slide this whole thing out just like that now if you twist it this 
you see you got two bolts holding the the um, parking brake uh, motor just this one and that one I believe that's a T30 let's see if I'm right yep so you need a T30 like this okay I'm gonna go ahead and remove that bottom one too So we get that one out, this one out. We're gonna twist this whole thing left and right like this. And then it should pop right up like that. Now, if you look here, so what we're, we need to do is we need to turn that uh, clockwise. Let me see what's. I think that's a T50, maybe a T45. Yeah, it's a T45. So we're just gonna turn it. We're just gonna keep turning it clockwise until it stops. Okay. Keep turning it all the way until it stops. And then we can pop this back in. And I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolts back in. Okay, once you have that in there, now we can compress the piston. Give me one second. You can compress it with this tool right here. Now we can compress it just like doing a regular regular uh, brake job.
Okay, now that's fully compressed. Now we can start replacing the brake pads. Go ahead and clean that up. One. In the back side of it. Now the sensor is gonna sit like this. You're just gonna pop that in place like that, and then hook it up to that connector right here. Okay, I'm gonna clean that caliper too while we're at it. A little bit of grease here and in the back. All right, now we can go ahead and install the caliper also make sure that these two bolts here uh, they slide in and out freely if they don't you need to remove it and clean them There we go. Then I'm gonna put back the two 13 millimeter bolts. Tight. This is tight. Now we can hook up the parking brake uh, motor harness back in. Just like that. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the new brake sensor and we are done. This one hooks up like that. I think this is actually the wrong sensor that they gave me. It's a little bit long, but it should still work. Our sensor. That's it. That's how you replace the rear brake pads on a BMW with the parking brake. Uh, your sensor sits like that. Um, if you don't have the computer to to electronically uh, reset or put the parking brake on service mode, this is the 
manual way to do it. Also, I forgot to mention before you do that, make sure that your parking brake is not engaged. Make sure you release it first, then you can start turning the, the motor to clockwise position. Same for the other side. Um, hope this video helps you. If you got any questions, uh, comment below if this video helped you. Click like, click subscribe. Thank you for watching.